Amazon is offering $25,000 grants for small business owners. Let's dive in as I show you how to apply for this grant using AI. Hi, I'm Brenda, and welcome back to Brenda Talks Business, where I help you increase your impact, influence, and income. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can snag $25,000 through Amazon's small business grant. This is an easy application process, so I wanna walk you through step-by-step step so that you can get the grants and funding that you need to take your business to the next level so that you can impact lives and change the world. Okay, guys, this is what it's going to look like once you land on the page for the grant. It says Small Business Studio Success Studio. The way that you get here is you go to your browser of choice and you're gonna type in Amazon, $25,000 grant. And then this one right here, this is 2024 Amazon Business Grant Step-by-Step -step Application Guide. You'll click there and it will bring you to this page. All right, so let's see what this is all about. All right, it says Amazon Business Continues Small Business Grant Program in 2024. Are you a, an Amazon business customer with an annual revenue of $1 million or, ne or less, okay? Then you're in luck. The Amazon Business Small Business Grants are back and you could be one of the 15 grant recipients. Get ready for a chance to win a share of $250,000 in monetary grants and other amazing prizes, including a Business Prime membership. The Amazon Business Small Business Grants are awarded to one grand prize recipient four finalists, and 10 semi-finalists. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity. Apply now. So I always like to take you guys through the, the terms and conditions before you start applying because some people get excited when they hear the amount. But let's make sure that you're eligible to apply. So let's read on. It says, how to participate in the Amazon Small Business Grant. How to apply. To apply to the uh, for the Amazon Business Small Business Grant, you will need to verify and respond to the below questions on the application, then submit it by May 24th, 2024. So if you're watching this before that date, you want to get it in ASAP. If you're watching this after that date, it's okay to make sure you um, bookmark this page so that next year you'll be able to apply and then save and subscribe to my channel because there will be more opportunities for you to apply for grants. Um, to take advantage of Amazon Business Small Business Grants, you will need to have an Amazon Business account. If you don't have an account, it's okay. You can click right here and set up one today, okay? First step. Second step is make sure your business meets the criteria of less than $1 million in annual revenue, and I'm sure that is you. Um, and then it says the third step is the evaluation phase is based on the applicant's responses to the below questions. Why did you start your business? What is your business mission or vision? How does your business innovate or add value to your customers? How would winning the grant help you expand your business? What is a large problem your company faced and how did you persevere? How does your business give back to the community? That's it, guys. That's it. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Once your applicants... Um, has your application has been submitted, you will receive a confirmation notice that your application has been received. Um, and then you can view the full terms and conditions uh, by clicking that link. It says once you have um, your application has been submitted, you will be contacted by an Amazon uh, Amazon business uh, if you're selected to be a semi-finalist. Okay. It says the vetting process and how to vote. We're, we are thrilled to team up with entrepreneur.com for the third year in a row to help handpick 15 standout shortlisted candidates and identify our semifinalists. Even more, as an Amazon business customer, you can have a say in voting from June 17th to June 28th, 2024. Cast your vote for small business that steals your heart. Um, vying for the $25,000 grand prize. So obviously people are going to be voting for the candidates. So, hey, get your family, your friends, your dogs, the cats, okay? <laughs> fans, anybody who is associated with you um, or knows you and have them go and vote for you after uh, submitting your application through that window of time that uh, those individuals can vote. All right. 
So they're going to be announcing the finalists on July 22nd, all right, of 2024. Now, um, these are some key dates. The deadline is the 24th of May. Um, semi-finalists uh, could start voting in June, on June 17th, and then the official announcement will be made on July 22nd. So here's the grand prize. Drum roll, please. Grand prize recipient will receive $25,000 monetary grant, one year of business prime, uh, small or essential value membership, uh, Amazon devices, including a Eero Wi-Fi router, Ring Alarm security kit, Kindle Scribe uh, with premium pen and Echo Show 8. Okay, you're getting some devices, some tech stuff to help you with your business. Um, Amazon basic office supplies, free one hour consultation with an Amazon business team. That's awesome, guys. Uh, the next level is four finalists will receive $20,000 monetary grant, one year of business prime, Amazon devices, including the same thing as before, Amazon basic uh, office supplies and free one hour consultation with the Amazon business team member. And then finally, 10 people. This is still good. 10 people have an opportunity to win $15,000, um, one year of business prime, uh, Amazon devices and uh, basic office supply. With the uh, If you're a semifinalist, you don't get the one hour consultation, but still, hey, you got 15 grand, okay? $15,000. Um Let's see. So these are some of the people who won in the past. All right, let's roll, guys. You guys ready? So the secret that I'm going to be teaching you is how to apply for this grant in record time using AI. Who's ready? All right, let's go. We're going to click apply now. All right, so it says um, sign in to apply, already have an account. So let me go ahead and get signed in and then we'll start this process. All right, once you are signed into your Amazon business account, you're going to hit, um, click on apply now. And then it says, welcome to the 2024 small business grant application page. Amazon business is celebrating small businesses by empowering their growth through the small business grant. Please review the terms and conditions. All right, let's see. It uh, only applies to Amazon business accounts. Um, we read all this about the application process, limit one um, application per account. All right, so looks like we're good to go. It says the application would need to be finished in one go, guys. All right, so follow this entire tutorial. <laughs> follow this entire video because it does not auto save. Okay, so you do not want to have to start over. That will be a pain. Um, what was your annual revenue in 2023? So let's go ahead and select zero to 500,000 because it has to be less than a million. Um, how many employees do you have? Let's select less than 25. If you're a solopreneur, just click solopreneur. Is your company based in the United States of America? We're going to say yes. For questions four through nine, please do not include any personally identifiable information. Please keep your answers as close to 200 characters as possible. Please note when evaluating some questions are weighed more than others. Okay, why did you start your business? Now, here we go. What we're going to do, see if it's gonna let us copy this. Nope, it's not, but it's okay. We're gonna head over to good old chat GPT. Okay, the one thing I wanna teach you guys about applying for grants using uh, AI is that there are AI grant detectors now um, that can detect if you used AI. So I'm going to show you the process of getting all the information you need, but please do not just copy and paste this information to the grant applications because they will be able to potentially see if you wrote it or if an AI wrote it, okay? So what we're going to do first is we're gonna type in um, to ChatGPT. The amazing thing that's happening is that ChatGPT 4.0 just launched, okay? I don't know if this is like 4.0 or just 4.0, but it's the newest and most advanced model. I believe this is free for everyone. It's free 99, guys. So you guys, you may as well go ahead and utilize it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this as our grant um, writer. All right. So we're going to say, hi. Please act as a grant writer. 
you are applying for a $25,000. Oh, I put 35. Okay, come on now. We'll take that too. <laughs> $25,000 grant um, offered by Amazon. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to tell ChatGPT as much information about our business as possible, okay? So you don't want to just go in here and be like, hey, just answer this question. No, you want to tell them about your business. So be specific. This is how it's going to be able to tailor the answers um, per question. So if you are a caterer, you want to talk about when your business got started and, and what was your inspiration and you know how many lives you've changed, how many catering um, opportunities you've had. And if you're someone who does, excuse me, maybe you work with kids or you know, maybe you do some other things, whatever that is, make it as specific as possible so that ChatGPT can help you write the best answers. So I'm going to start with myself. Um, I'm going to go with Britain the Talks Business. That's not the actual name of my business or LLC, but just for the point of this video, um, I'm going to use the name of my YouTube channel, channel Brenda Talks Business. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Um, so, and I do a lot of branding and marketing and helping people understand um, and learn AI to help grow their businesses, right? Right now, I am going to focus on what I've been doing lately is helping people write books. So um, we're going to start with, um, it says, act as a grant writer. You are applying for a $25,000 grant offer by Amazon. Um I'm going to say I am. That's going to make it a lot easier for me to talk about this stuff. Okay. My name is Brenda. And the name of my business is Brenda Talks Business Baby. Okay. Brenda Talks Business. Um, I started my business over a year ago because of a desire to help underserved communities learn and leverage AI. My goal is to provide support and education for uh, businesses and low income communities. My latest passion has been teaching um, kids how to um, write and publish, they're gonna love this, publish books on Amazon <laughs> so that they can become published authors and uh, make passive income. More importantly, I teach kids how to, um, I want to say something like I teach kids how to um, find their voice tell their stories unique stories because you know you, you, these kids are going through things that we never had to deal with when we were their age um tell their unique story and um have an outlet an outlet to express um their fears, 
anxiety, and creativity. Okay. Um, my focus is on um, African. No, let's go with not African American children. We're going to go with um, marginalized. Because that includes a lot of people, marginalized um, communities. Um, where kids rarely have a voice. Okay, I don't even know if I remember what the question was. All right, so let's go back and see what was the question. It was, oh, where is it? Why did you start your business? Oh, I kind of think I said that, right? Um, I think I pretty much said that. So let's just reread. So once you type into the box, give chat GPT as much information as you possibly can so it can best answer this question for you don't think you're typing too much you cannot type enough as long as you're not putting any personal information in this box okay don't put your social security number or your uh your address all that you know all that stuff so someone can pop up at your house and find you let's not do that okay but let's make sure we're giving it as much information as possible, okay? So let's reread. Once you're done kind of typing most of the things in, let's reread it and make sure everything flows and you have included everything that you need to include. So it says, hi, please act as a grant writer. I am applying for a $25,000 grant offered by Amazon. My name is Brenda and the name of my business is Brenda Talks Business. And you put the name of your business there, okay? If it's LLC, S Corp, whatever that is. I started my business over a year ago because of the of a desire to help underserved communities. See, I misspelled that. Communities learn and leverage AI. My goal is to provide support and education for businesses and low-income communities. Um, the latest passion, my latest passion, let's put that, my Latest passion has been teaching kids how to write and publish books on Amazon. That might give me a leg up, okay? <laughs> so that they can become published authors and make passive income. And begin, I'm going to put in, begin um, creating generational wealth. Because if this money is spent well and utilized in investing opportunities, they can potentially... Um, grow uh, the money that they make from these books and have enough money to pay for their entire college tuition by the time they're, you know, 18 or they're graduating. So it could definitely set them up for success. Um, let's see, passive income and begin creating generational wealth. Okay. Uh, more importantly, I teach kids how to find their voice, tell their unique stories and have an outlet to express their fears, anxiety, and creativity. Um, and during, uh, throughout the process, throughout the process, kids are also learning how to use AI and, um, let's see, what else can we say? Um, AI and other tech, not sure what I want to say there, through the process, kids are also learning how to use AI and other tech, um, I'll just say another tech to help facilitate in the publishing and the in the expansion of their ideas. I'll just put it that way. It sounds good. Okay. My focus is on marginalized communities where kids uh, rarely have a voice. All right. Please. Now, the most important part of this entire process is the question that we're supposed to be answering. All right. Don't forget that. So we're going to say, please write. Um, let's do this, 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 this. The first 
first question on the grant application is, and let's look at that again. Why did you start your business? Why did you start your business, please? And we're going to ask it to have a specific tone. Answer this in a professional, empathetic, and personable No, now, this is a secret. A lot of people don't understand how to utilize AI. You have to give it, infuse it with your personality. You can't just say, okay, answer this question because it doesn't know who you are, doesn't know your personality, it doesn't know your quirks. So you have to tell it who you are. If you're someone who's funny, have it to answer it in a humorous tone. If you're someone who's very like sentimental, you can say that, you know, have it um, answer it in a tone with a lot of feeling and emotions. Whatever that tone is, whatever your personality is, make sure you infuse that here inside of um, ChatGPT when you're asking it to answer these questions. So I'm pretty, I'm very empathetic, um, very personable, and I am professional. So those are the things that I use as part of my personality to infuse into this question. So you, yours may not be exactly like mine. You use and describe how your personality is in order to answer this question, okay? It says, please answer this in a professional, empathetic, and personable tone. All right. You guys ready to see? Now, one last thing before we hit this uh, little black arrow button here. I always say highlight this and copy it because there have chat GPT has been known to make some of your things disappear. And we do not want that to happen. So I'll usually copy it um, just in case it gets lost and I don't have to retype this before I hit send. All right, you guys ready? Let's go, go. Here we go. Woo. Let's see. Rent application for Brenda Talks Business. I started Brenda Talks Business over a year ago with a deep-seated desire to uplift underserved communities through the power of education and technology. Growing up, I witnessed firsthand. Uh oh, wait, wait. Sh sh she is going fast, honey. <laughs> Growing up, I witnessed firsthand. You guys see that? That was like not even five seconds, I don't think. Craziness. And you know what? What we did miss is the 200 words. So we need to make sure that this um, answer is within the guidelines that uh, Amazon is requesting. Okay, so it says, growing up, I witnessed firsthand the struggle faced by low-income families, which I did because I was low-income. Okay. And marginalized communities, particularly the lack of access to quality educational resources and opportunities for personal and professional growth. This motivated me to create a platform where I could make a meaningful difference. The mission of Brenda Talks Business is to provide support and education tailored to the needs of businesses and low-income communities, enabling them to leverage the transformative potential of AI and other advanced technologies. My ultimate goal is to bridge the gap between the, these communities and their rapidly evolving technological landscape, ensuring that they do not get left behind. That is so true. That is my mission. One of my latest and most passionate initiatives is teaching kids how to write and publish books on Amazon. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was just really kind of doing this for you. I wasn't planning on uh, applying for this grant. I just want to teach you guys how to apply for it, but I might actually need to apply for it because I'm utilizing their services. I might have a leg up. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, this endeavor not only aims to empower them to become published authors, but also to create avenues for passive income and generational wealth. More importantly, it provides a platform for these young minds to find their voice, tell their unique stories and express their fears and anxieties and creativity. Oh my God, I cannot say that better but I'm going to have to because I can't just copy and paste this. I got to reword it, right? Um, in doing so, they also learn valuable skills in using AI and other technologies to expand and facilitate their ideas. Focusing on marginalized communities where children rarely have a voice, Brenda Talks Business is, a dedic is dedicated to giving these children the tools and confidence to articulate their stories and aspirations. By doing so, we are nurturing a general uh, generation of empowered, innovative, and resilient individuals who can contribute meaningfully to their communities and beyond. This journey of starting and growing Brenda Talks Business has been driven by a commitment to create a more inclusive and equitable future I believe that by 
providing the right support and resources, we can unlock the immense potential within these communities and pave the way for a brighter, more prosper prosperous future for all. Yo, man, that is impeccable. <laughs> Let's do this. Let me show you guys a little trick, a little trick, little trick. What you want to do is you want to ask ChatGPT, thanks. You want to say thank you, please, and thank you, okay? I like to say please and thank you. I feel like you get better answers. Thanks. That was great. Now we're going to ask it, how many words is in this response? How many words are... Analyzing, analyzing. It does not take that long, okay? 318 words. We are over our word count, okay? So you have to edit this. Isn't that cool? I'm giving y'all all the tricks and tips and tools. That's why you follow and watch and subscribe to Brenda Talks Business, all right? So what we're going to do is it says your answer as close to 200 characters as possible. It says as possible. Now, you guys can see. Oh, y'all. Yo, I just missed that. It didn't, it's not 200 words. It's characters. Man. <laughs> That's bananas. So you're going to literally have to take everything that you just got and break it down to like three sentences. So good luck with that. All right. <laughs> take everything chat, chat GPT just gave you and summarize it in your own words and 200 characters. I missed that all together. Okay. Characters, not words. So you want to make sure you do that. Again, for the sake of this video, I am not going to do that here. So it's not so long, but um, let's pretend that we already edited this and now we have our first answer, right? And now it says, what is the mission? Um, what is your business and mission or vision? Did I read that right? What is your business? Oh, oh your business's mission or vision. I feel like we already kind of have that, but let's just go back to chat GPT. And we're going to say uh, now that we know, now, thanks. Now, can you write my vision write the um vision and mission of Brenda Hawks? Business. When I said this was going to be easy and short, <laughs> baby, I was not lying. In 200 characters, in 200 characters, I don't know why I saw words as characters or less. Okay, thanks. Now, can you write the vision and mission of Brenda Talks Business? Let's fix this. Mission M I S S I O N. Two hundred characters or less. All right. The vision is to empower underserved communities. Oh, uh, things are popping up here. Empower underserved communities through AI and tech education, fostering personal and economic growth. The mission is to support marginalized youth in finding their voice, telling their stories, and building generational wealth through publishing. That's pretty short and simple. Let's see if we can put this up here. I'm going to copy this again. Do not copy and paste verbatim. Please edit and reword and write this in your own words with your own voice. Okay. 
So we're going to go with that. Um, we got 22 characters remaining. It says, how does your business innovate and add value for your customers? All right. Let's see. I don't know why it won't let me. Okay, now I can copy. Okay. Thanks. This is great. It likes feedback, so always give it feedback. If it was horrible, tell them. Say, this was horrible. This was not what I was looking for. Let's try again. Um, now, can you answer the next question? Which is, and then we're going to paste that question here. And then we're going to say, please answer I think I'm going to do this let's copy it answer in 200 characters or less Brenda Talks Business empowers marginalized communities with AI and tech skills, guiding youth to publish on Amazon, fostering creativity, building generational wealth, and amplifying their unique voices. I love it. Again, do not copy and paste this, guys. I will say this 50 times and someone will be like, oh my God, you just copied and pasted. No, put it in your own words, okay? Um, let's see, we have a few more questions to go. How would receiving the grant help you? Please note, if you are selected as a candidate, your response to this question, hear me clearly, your response to this question will be published for Amazon business question, uh, customers to vote for your business. So this is the most important. You remember at the beginning, it says some of these questions will weigh heavier than others. Okay. Now, we're going to go back to ChatGPT and say, thanks. Thanks. The next question is, and we're going to put, paste it there, press enter. All right. Receiving the grant would enable Brenda Talks Business to expand our programs, providing more resources and opportunities for underserved youth to learn AI, publish their stories, and build generational wealth. I think I would put publish their books. And I would say on Amazon, <laughs> publish your books on Amazon. No, for real, guys, I am I am so excited because um, as of the date of this recording, we just had like 30 over 30 students um, publish books this week. I'm so excited. OK, if you're someone who's interested in that, um, type in the comments and let me know. And um, I'd be happy to connect with you and help your child talk to you about our coaching programs and um, how we can help your child get published on Amazon. Just a shameless plug, okay? Um, next, uh, we have, what is a large problem your company faced and how did you persevere? So we're gonna copy this. And we are going to go to ChatGBT and we're gonna say, thank you. Now, can you answer? The next question. I'm going to paste it there. And then we're going to press enter. And it's going to spit out a fabulous answer. It says a significant challenge Brenda Talks Business face was reaching and engaging marginalized communities with limited access to connect technology. We persevere by partnering with local local organizations, securing donations of devices, and providing hands-on training. That is not true. So don't put something in your answer that's not true. We did not secure any donations of any devices. It would have been nice, but we do provide hands-on training sessions. This approach not only bridged the div digital divide, but also fostered trust and collaboration within the communities we serve. By adapting our strategy to meet their specific needs and ensuring continuous support, we were able to successfully implement our program, our programs and make meaningful impact. Okay, we're going to copy this. Again, do not copy and paste. All right. <laughs> I think you guys got it now. We're going to paste this here. Make sure you reword it to fit um, your needs. Let's see how much more time 
Okay, so that this is not long, I'm going to just briefly go through because you guys know how to answer the questions now. I'm going to go through all the rest of the questions so we can complete this application so I can show you exactly what you need to do. Uh, number nine, how does your business give back to the community? Again, copy, paste that, put that in chat GPT as we did with the previous questions. Come back and um, rewrite that and type that there. Um, what is the industry of your business? Choose your industry. So you'll go through and choose which one is applicable to your business. I could either go with technology or um, consumer products and services. Um, you choose which one is applicable for you. And then it says, can you explain how your business interacts with or uses any Amazon services other than the use of, <laughs> ah, we use Amazon KDP. Okay, that would be my answer to that. And you answer that accordingly for your business. What Amazon business feature do you use? And you go in and select which one, pay for pay by invoices, quality discount, business list, business prime, QuickBooks integration, integration deals, single sign-on, choose all of those. Um, if selected as one of the recipients, would you be interested in us filming your business and your story for Amazon business? And the answer is absolutely positively yes. Those of you who are camera shy, I don't want to hear, don't want to hear, okay? I am not here for it. If you want this money, you better put a face on, <laughs> get your face beat, guys, you know, go get a facial done, show up, get your teeth whitened, smile, and, you know, smile for the camera, okay? Stop acting like you, you know, you're shy and you're like behind the scenes. It's time for you to rise up, okay, and come from behind the scenes. The world needs to know who you are, what you have to offer. You need this money so that you can help provide services and products to the people, um, your clients and customers. So don't be hiding. Stop hiding, okay? Stop playing small. Now is the time for you to rise up and live in your greatest potential, okay? So if you are camera shy, know that they are not looking for that. They're looking for someone who's confident, who's ready to tell their story and be on camera. So the answer is yes. And in the meantime, between time, you're going to practice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now you're going to enter your Amazon uh, business ID. It says you can find this business ID when you visit the Amazon profile. If you're still having trouble, um, log into your Amazon account and drop down uh, under your name on the right side, click big to settings. So if you click on that, I'm not, I'm not sure um, if we're gonna have time. Oh, well, I guess I don't wanna show my business ID, but <laughs> let's go back and um, yeah, so that's how you'll find that. Please provide us your brand's trademark, a USPTO registration number. If you have that, go ahead and do that. Um, and then any trademarks you have, you're going to type that there. It says, now upload a photo of your brand's logo. Oh, this is great. Please make sure your brand's name is included in the name of the image file. So it gives you the requirements. It needs to be 500 by 500. Um, it could be SVG or JPEG or PNG. And then once you do all of that, you're going to hit and go to the next now, I may not be able to go to the next uh, level because I have not completed uh, all of the information that it has asked for. Okay, so you guys, this is pretty much the bulk of the application, all right? Um, again, because I do not want this to be too long of a video, um, I took you through the majority of it. That's pretty much it. You may get to the next page and have a few more things that you have to fill out. But I hope that this was beneficial for you. I hope that you learned a lot from it. Um, if you feel like you have any questions for me, I am happy to answer any questions that you have. And all you're going to do is just type in um, type in the comments below, okay? And let me know if you have any questions and how I can assist you. And um, I wish you the best of luck. I wish you guys nothing but success as you fill out this application and know that um there's nothing but greatness in store for you. You have something special that you have, you can offer the world. People are going to benefit from your services. They're going to benefit from, um, you know, the products that you have to sell. So just make sure you're filling this out with a positive mindset. Don't go in thinking that, oh my God, why would they choose me? Why would they not choose you? Have you looked in the mirror lately? I mean, don't you know how fabulous you are? I'm just saying. Okay. So Going with a positive mindset, make sure you're utilizing um, AI and, and restructuring those, those answers and putting your own, you know, feel on it and your own voice. And um, I just wish you guys the best. I know you're going to do great. And if I'll stop trying, there are so many other grant opportunities out there for you to apply for. And you can use the same technique 
um, in this same process. All right, I am always constantly creating new courses and eBooks for you guys to learn how to leverage AI for your business. And I am in the process of creating um, a grant course in eBook. If this is something that you're interested in, it will be for a fee, okay? This is not free 99. I do these videos on um, YouTube uh, as a free resource for you guys. But if you wanna go deeper with me, um, please type the word grant in the comments below so I know that you're interested and I can put you on the wait list for some of those um, some of those courses. All right, until next time, live your purpose, pursue your passion and be the prosperous beings you were born to be. I'll see you in the next video.